Good morning, everyone, and I am Queenie Clam with Queenie's Book Talk and Reviews. And last night I was watching, I watched about four hours of booktube videos, and I've seen a lot of things like um, the 24-hour readathon, and I seen some other readathons, and I decided to get up this Saturday morning, May the 5th, 2018, and do like a reading thon within one day. Um, but I'm going to do a little something, I guess, different, you would say. Somebody probably already did it. I haven't Googled it yet, but I'm going to try to read the book I'm currently reading in 12 hours. So I'm going to read from, it's now 9.55 a.m. Uh, I'm actually, I have already really actually read three pages of this book. Here we are. But, um, I've actually read three pages in the book already, but come 10 a.m. this morning, I will start reading this book, and I want to finish this book by 10 p.m. tonight. And here's the book I want to, I've already started. And I'm actually going to let y'all see what page I'm actually on. So y'all won't think I'm trying to cheat or anything of that nature. Actually, like I said, page three. Can y'all see that? Page three. See three? See the three? All right. I'm actually going to try to finish this book within 12 hours. And it has. 261 pages. Now I'm going to come back in, do another video. I guess every so couple of, every so many hours and let you know what I've done, what I'm doing, and what I've accomplished. Uh, so I'm going to call this the 12, Queenie's 12 hour book challenge slash, I guess, readathon maybe but I'm only reading one book so <clears throat> without further ado it's three minutes to ten and I am so excited because I want to finish this book because my July book is coming up and I want to start on that um, I have a TBR monthly reading challenge in a Facebook group called FB Page Turners. And uh, we're on, this is May, so what you do is, back in January I started, and you have to write, um, I had different categories, and you had to find a book for that particular category for that particular month, and then post them. And then, um, every month you read that book. Well, y'all, I'm up to July. Um, I've already finished, well, May just came in, so I finished April, May, and June in no time. January, February, March, April, May, and June in no time. But um, I'm on July, and um, I'm trying to read some books in between while I'm waiting on my July. But I want to go ahead and finish The Bond by the Three Doctors that I recently have met. Um, some good looking, good looking African American guys. Y'all see them? And all three of them are doctors, y'all. I don't think any one of them are married either. But anyway, um, I want to finish this book today. Um, like I said, I met them three weeks ago. It's another one called The Pack. And it's another one. It's for young adult, I think. But I'm going to read that one too. But right now, I want to get through the bond today today. Now, I'm also an adult colorer, so you might see me come back coloring. I don't know. We'll have to see. 
but I've ate my breakfast slash lunch, which is brunch. And my son's behind me. I think he's on his computer, and I wanted him to do the challenge with me, but we'll see. But anyway, it is now 10 a.m., and I am about to get started. All right, let's go. Now, this is a very good book. It's uh, three young men learn to forgive and reconnect with their fathers. And I'm reading um, the chapters or the sections. It's three sections. And uh, it's about the three sections of the three doctors. So the first section is George Jenkins. And then the second section is the Dr. Sampson Davis. And then the third section is Romique Hunt. So I'm on George in chapter one. So y'all have to read close up to me. I'm blind as a bat, but that's okay. Well, y'all, it says this book is written from a male's perspective. Although we know that fatherless daughters struggle with their own issues of loss and compensation, this is our story. So we focus on our own feelings and experiences to illuminate the points we have to make. All right? This is two of Excuse me. Since it's 10.01 a.m., hopefully I'll see you back in about an hour. See you then. Signing off. This is Queenie. I love you. See you in a little bit. Happy reading.